Hey, hey guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. My name is Catherine and today I'm going to be doing something different, something I've never done on this channel. So I'm going to be showing you all how I achieved this beauty right here from scratch. Like I will show you guys how I, you know, prep the wig cap, how I ventilated the wig and down to how I braided this. So if that sounds like something you would like, then keep on watching. You are going to be needing a dome cap, a Swiss lace, a ventilating needle, some pair ball pins, French coils extension, and any attachment of your choice. I didn't mention mannequin head and tripod and the measuring tape earlier because those are basics when it comes to wigging any hair at all. As you can see, I already have my dome cap on the mannequin. Now I want to measure and cut out the frontal. Make sure the Swiss lace is placed vertically on the mannequin head for easy ventilating. I measured 13 inches horizontally, that is ear to ear, then 6 inches vertically. That is from the line of the wig cap at the front as you can see to the point i pinned at the middle using a six inches measurement and after that i used my pencil to cover the line which you saw me did earlier then as soon as i was done covering out the line i took it off the mannequin head and cut with a scissors if you want to see a well detailed video about how to prep your wig cap please let me know in the comment section so i can make a well detailed video on that Okay, you guys, I also want to mention uh, this pin that I'm using here is a no-no when it comes to making wig cap. I didn't have the pearl ball pin that I showed you guys earlier at the time I was making this wig cap. I later got the pearl ball pin, but at the point I was making this um, wig cap, I didn't have that. So as you guys can see, right now I am sewing the lace onto the dome cap. I don't know if you guys are noticing how I am folding. I will sew to a point, then fold some of the lace before sewing again i don't know if you guys are seeing that that is because since the lace is a curved one you all know how fronters are they are usually curved it cannot be well i don't know how to say it there is no way it can just be straight throughout okay so that is the reason why i am folding then sewing when it is necessary because i do not fold all around just when it is necessary i'm all the sense that you can confess I'm just your ghost if we're not undressed A part of me wish that we never met so as soon as i'm done sewing the lace onto the dome cap i'll go ahead and start folding this part this is the excess um from the dome cap because i made a measurement i'm working with measurements i measured the size of my head i measured round i measured um from my forehead to the back of my head so the excess is what i'm folding and after i'm done folding and pinning down i will go ahead and sew it down like i said earlier if you want a detailed video of how to prep your wig cap before um ventilating or wigging let me know in the comment section because i can't you know show everything in this video it's gonna be way too too long so let me know leave a comment below now i'm cutting out the ss cap underneath the lace which brings us to this and here we go with our prepped wig cap ready to be worked on these are the french coils i'll be using for this style i got a total of 10 packs but i used nine packs i don't think this is the standard size of these because the last time i used these french coils i used five packs and that was way more expensive than this so this is not the standard measurement or the standard packaging yeah this is a small size crochet pin. This is not the regular one we all see all the time. This is a small size, but you can get it anywhere. I got it from a nearby beauty supply store. So I just inserted it or I passed it through my dump cap and then put the lobe of this um, French coils, I, which I sectioned out earlier, put it onto the hook of the, um, of the crochet pin, then put another one just like i'm doing i know i can't explain this right now just watch what i'm doing you will understand way more better i feel like i've been talking throughout this video i haven't given myself a break i haven't you know allowed you all to watch and see what i'm doing for yourself
reality, no. For this place, since it's a bridge between the lace and the wig cap, we're going to be covering everything up, like all round. All the we're going to cover the whole sewing up. Nothing is going to show. So that is what I'm doing now. We'll just be following everything up, like we are not spacing anything on this line. And you guys, I space. I leave some space at the back, like a lot of space at the back, because I was scared that the um, extension wouldn't be, um, wouldn't be enough for it. I wanted to be done with this part, with this line, and then with the front before I will finally use the leftover for the back. I left behind for the back i left empty yeah this part okay i didn't do anything there because i was scared which at the end of the day even i even had um leftover extension so it didn't even matter at the end of the day but yeah keep on watching guys now is the fun part the ventilating part so get ready <laughs> oh my god So this is the extension I'll be using. I'll just be using a very tiny bit from this. I'll cut out, you know, a very small inches, let's say like three to four inches, and then start, you know, stretching. After that, I'll come out and set aside, then start measuring the um, lace, okay? So since the front is um, 13 inches, meaning one side will be like six, and half inches okay so i am measuring one inch on each line i don't know how to say this i am like measuring one inch for it for um each line but since it is like one side of this cap one side of this head is um six and a half and not six meaning measuring everything like one one inch will have half left so i kind of incorporated the half in between two lines i don't know if you guys get me yeah just i just have to do that i just have to incorporate and after that i started you know you know using my eyeball measuring with my eyeball and you know using my pencil like i, I didn't mention i am using my eyebrow pencil to measure this they have a pen for this but i don't have that yet at this point so I'm using my eyebrow pen, so I will eyeball them and, you know, mark out a line. But, you guys, I later altered this line because I realized that it is, you know, way too big. I later altered it. Just keep on watching. We'll talk more of that later. So here, I have ventilated quite some. This is my first time ever ventilating a wig, so it was kind of a learning process for me. This part, I didn't like. They are not as neat as I'd wanted them to be, so I learned and I made my mistake and I corrected them, so I have to just abandon that side and move on to this side where I have perfected my ventilating already. So what I'm doing here is I picked a few strands of stretched extension from earlier, then bend it over, forming this small ring, and with the other hand i'll pass my ventilating needle through one hole on the lace pick three strands of extension with the needle pull out from the same hole then tie a knot using the needle then pull the needle with the three strands out facing down okay let's do that one more time this time i won't be talking just watch and see for yourself And take note you guys i am leaving a hole before ventilating the next hole like i'm not ventilating back to back every hole i will ventilate a particular hole then leave the next hole ventilate um the one after leave the next hole ventilate the one after this is how i'm doing it okay and i am ventilating two line on each side this is like a four corner um square so i'm ventilating two lines on each side i this is the second line on this side okay i have ventilated two line on this um front part like facing the forehead so next i will ventilate two line on 
how am I gonna say this? <laughs> okay, on the remaining two side, I will ventilate two line each. Okay, I have ventilated one on this one, so I'll start ventilating the second one. Hope you guys are understanding me. I know, I know this is this is kind of complex, but just take it slowly, be patient. You're gonna you're gonna follow through. Yeah. So as soon as I'm done, I will, you know, braid that and set it aside while I move on to the next one. So what I usually do before I move on to any other boss, before I move on to the next boss, I usually leave two lines, like any boss at all. Before I move on to the next boss, I will leave two lines, then move on to the next boss, leave two lines. Yeah, just like that. I remember telling you guys earlier that I altered the sizes of each boss because I realized that they were too big. Yes, yo, I altered the bosses. So this time around, I instead of four, which was the size I marked out earlier, I, you know, I ventilated five, okay? I altered the size and I am ventilating five instead of four bosses. And like I said, I usually leave two lines on each of the four sides, which formed a boss before i start the next one i just pray i'm making sense with this i'm all the sense that you can confess i'm just your ghost if we're not undressed a part of me wish that we never met but you act like we never got to waste it in the bathroom of your parents house for this second line i'm ventilating now i left a line after the first one after the first line i ventilated and we are done with the ventilating i don't know if you guys noticed that the bosses are like smaller than the um the lines i created for it like i told you all when i was marking out the line that i realized it was big and i had to reduce it so yeah it is now way smaller now it's time to begin the knotless braid i'll go ahead and section out um five strands of um, braiding hair that i will be using okay but i don't think i used the whole of five strand i think i ended up using just four so let's start i went ahead and apply um um edge control shine and shine and jam on the tip of these um strands of this ventilated strand and yeah let's do the knotless braid just keep watching and you will follow through with what i am doing here So because this is a french cause we don't braid to the tail okay you just braid to where the ombre begin
So after I was done braiding all, I realized that one needed a correction and I decided to take it down and that is what I am doing now. I am rebraiding re this one. Okay? Here we go guys i am done with this part oh my god this took like forever i was super excited when i was done with this side although i started um filling in that part i left empty earlier on because i was scared of the extension not being enough so i started filling it in along the line i misplaced my crochet pin so i had to stop and the next day i continued and finished it up and after i was done with it i went ahead and started ventilating the baby hairs at the front like this i just ventilated few so that it wouldn't be you know overcrowded or a lot finally you guys this is it this is the final look after i installed it um, I'm sorry I didn't show the process of installation. It was pretty much easy because I measured my head um, before I measured the dome cap. It's customized, okay? So there was no a lot of gluing and all that since it's my head size. So you all, tell me what you think. You can definitely tell that I'm feeling myself right now. I'm so proud of myself. Like this is my first time trying out ventilation. Talk more of the frontal ventilation. And I outdid myself. You can't tell me nothing. <laughs> okay there's this thing i'm seeing dangling at the back of my hair like a brown is a wig cap that i used to secure my hair before before putting on my wig cap is annoying just ignore it okay so um if you have watched this video to this point and you still haven't subscribed baby what are you waiting for please do me a favor do that right away and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful share this video if you can and see you in my next one bye bye